everybody, this is Alvin Wu of Vitality Measurement. Weeks ago, we launched our uh, PC program for uh, distributors, which allow our distributors to do a remote uh, system diagnosis, monitoring, and also recovery. Uh, this program is uh, very important, especially for those installations like uh, heavy capacity, like the truck scale and some other uh, application where recalibration, uh, recalibration is not uh, a good idea like uh, a silo and tank installation. Uh, we are not talking about uh, this software is uh, good for everything. While the two limitations are if a low cell is broken or bad, defective, or the main board itself is Defective, then well, uh, this uh, we must say that well, uh, this software cannot fix the problem. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's start our demonstration. Okay. Mm. For example, uh, uh, your customer Feng Chu, okay, well, uh, uh, they have some problem with their indicator. For example, one nine nine, and then while well, you try to question question them as much as possible and they are going to fit you back uh, many many answers but eventually okay it seems that uh, solving uh, this problem or knowing exactly what exactly went wrong is not possible then it is better to use our distributor uh, PC program okay before we use this program or we start this program uh, there are some things we have to do first okay on the customer side, you have to ask your customer to hook the, indic uh, the indicator to internet uh, by some uh, serial to LAN or Wi-Fi devices. I have one here. Okay, something like this will help you to have uh, your customer to link the indicator to the internet. And uh, also, your customer has to needs to do some setting on the uh, internet router. While uh, these settings include uh, port forwarding, assigning an external port number to that uh, serial to LAN or Wi-Fi devices like this, and also assigning an internal port number of this device. Also, uh, in order to allow you to access remotely to that piece of uh, device, your customer has to tell you, has to find out uh, and tell you the IP address which uh, the ISP provided them, or their current uh, or their current IP number. If fixed IP is not the case. And then you need to ask uh, your customer to do some uh, a setting on the indicator. For example, uh, we'll ask the customer because while well, uh, this program is should be run under the command mode, again we have to connect the indicator to this this device by means of COM port two. Okay. For example, here. We go to F17. This uh, function number is used to control the uh, fun uh, compound number two. Uh, enter. We have to select command, and then we'll upgrade one one five two zero zero, or this one will do. Again, we will use a uh, default uh, bulk rate one one five two hundred. Uh, as the uh, off rate and then parity none data bit length eight and then that's it and then while the, uh, it is one more thing is that okay it is better to ask your uh, customer to connect the external power adapter to the indicator uh, it is because while the uh, it will allow okay, uh, the customer to do uh, auto reboot 
uh, I will show you a little bit later. Auto reboot, okay, uh, is something like that. Uh, if the customer, uh, if the indicator is powered by battery and the battery voltage is is not high enough, sometimes uh, auto reboot uh, is not possible. But anyway, even though under uh, auto reboot is not possible, still, okay, uh, your customer can help you to press the on and off button. Uh, remotely or at their working site then well now you have the um, IP address of your customer and you have also the uh, port number which your customer assign uh, to their system then on your side there are the, some things you have to do first of all uh, you have to download uh, the Distributor program. Wow, well, uh, uh, it is uh, this program is not for general profit. If you need to use it, please contact us, sending us by email. And then another software you need to have is uh, a white throw compost. Um, I show you the white throw compost. Please, please look at my uh, monitor. Okay, this is a white tool compot. Okay, it is by a third party. We do not develop it. Okay, we just download it. Uh, it is a, a free software from the internet which you can download. I show you uh, just one second. Okay, here is the download address white tool zero software. Okay. Now uh, we have uh, the distributor PC program, and then we have the white com port. Then uh, on the white com port, we'll type. Okay, for example, your customer told you uh, their fixed IP is da -da 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 -da, like this. And they sign, assign a remote com port. A port number is 8899. We will type in all this information to the white road com port software and then we click connect. Then uh, if uh, the connection will be successful, then uh, we will say connect and this is the com port number. Then at this moment, we will run our distributor software again okay uh, installation and setup is not necessary just double click on the icon and then refresh we will say com port 1 the bulb rate is for example 115200 and then we will say connect okay this is the situation okay uh, the current situation of the indicator uh, you can see uh, we can see the uh, calibration unit application decimal point and uh, capacity one capacity two if due range or due interval will be the case and the calibration data linearity coefficient and span calibration coefficient and uh, some uh, setting for example you need tail operation okay uh, you need to you need to spend some time to go through to uh, familiar with this uh, program and then uh, we can see okay um, uh, something wrong here for example uh, I know that this customer is using dog but uh, we show comma something wrong and then our uh, calibration we don't know what happened but obviously uh, something went wrong here and then okay uh, okay, the actual indicator is something like that. Okay, for example, this is uh, the indicator to 2000 kilometers away. Okay, the situation is the back light is wrong, and then um, okay, totally wrong. So, uh, in this case, well, uh, we can tell the customer, okay, you see the information, you can either 
tell your customer, help your customer to set the system step by step, one by one, or you can do it the other way around. For example, and assume that before I hang over the system to your customer, uh, we have a, a set of files, okay? Uh, we read, we run this program, and then we read, and then we export to file. Then you type the file name here, save it to your computer. Okay, for example, we save, okay? And now uh, something wrong. So I know that, okay, while the, the file, the setting file name of this system is this and that, for example, the serial number or the customer name, okay, whatever. So uh, here we can do it one thing, okay? We load back the system configuration file at the time we hang over the system to the customer. For example, I know that, okay, the, the configuration file is 19i setting. I will open it. Open, low file, okay. Okay, I load the file and then what I have to do is that, okay, I would press set all. Set all success. Okay, done. Okay, on the indicator side, the indicator will ask for a system reboot. You can ask your customer to power off and power, up, power it on again or you can do the reboot remotely. For example, we have here a save and remove uh, and reboot button. We click and then look at here. It start the uh, power on countdown again. Okay, and then while go when your customer tell you, okay, the uh, power on countdown finish, then you will try to read again. Okay, you can see, okay, the parameter, for example, the capacity, decimal point, and decimal format, and all these things are back, okay? And then you can ask your customer to do some test run. For example, mm, okay, the backlight is okay now, the decimal point, the accuracy is okay now, Okay, by this uh, uh, simple procedure, uh, not very simple, but obviously not complicated, okay? By this uh, 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 simple uh, uh, procedure, we are able to recover, to have your customer to recover the whole system uh, in a very short time. Okay, I hope you like this movie. If you have any questions about this, please visit our website or email us. Once again, thank you very much. Bye-bye.